if you've been following my other uh, videos, you would see that I've had my uh, peppers and cucumbers in here. Well, now cucumbers are crowding the peppers and it's time to get everything moved around here. So what we're going to do today is build a uh, uh, five gallon deep water culture bucket with a trellis type system for these two cucumbers so I can get them out of this and into a different system. Alright guys, to start I got one of my uh, five gallon buckets here. Uh, actually I'm using one of the buckets that I had set up for uh, removing chlorine that was in one of my other videos just bubbling. Since I already got the uh, air stone glued in place and uh, I had these available, just decided to use one of these. What I am going to do though is where that airline is, I'm going to drill a small hole down below here, definitely above the water line. So when we put our bucket lid adapter on our uh, pot here, that that airline's underneath that. And uh, we're going to transplant that cucumber that I showed you right into uh, this uh, Medi pot. Uh, bucket lid adapter. I have these vinyl tees, got them at Lowe's. They're quarter inch uh, tees and fittings and I like to use those with the quarter inch uh, that's actually that quarter inch uh, rubber line here. This is actually um, quarter inch uh, drip irrigation tubing that I use for my air stones. It fits everything real nice. Black, you don't have to worry about algae also at Lowe's and these little fittings are great for making 90s and different things. Uh, when you're running your lines. I also have a couple of uh, T fittings. Here we go. Let's turn it like this. Let's see if we can get that to focus. What it is is a half inch insert elbow. Also at Lowe's. Half inch on each side. Got two of those. I got these rubber grommets. Uh, these are one and an eighth inch outside diameter and five eighths inch inside diameter. And what we're going to do is we're going to take these grommets right here and we're gonna cut a hole into the bottom of the bucket similar to some of the professional systems you see made we're gonna cut a hole in the bottom of the bucket here on the side and we're gonna run this uh, T right through the grommet and then we're gonna take some of this hose clear tubing which I couldn't find blue um, I'll just keep this covered but this is three quarter inch uh, by five eighths inside diameter five eighths inside diameter that will fit that. So basically we're just going to make a water uh, level so I can keep an eye on the nutrient solution level on the bucket. And then uh, also I found this at Lowe's which is uh, a border fence like four pieces. I'm going to take it apart and my plan is to drill it into here around to wrap the bucket so this way I can start to train the cucumber up around the trellis. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it in the bucket that I'm mounting the uh, air stone and the line in, or if I'm just going to get a secondary bucket to put in here that I'll just cut the bottom off of and then mount this fencing in. So this way, when I need to change the solution out or whatever, I could just simply lift the second bucket with trellis, cucumber, plant, and all out of the way and just have the solution bucket to deal with. I'm not quite sure which way that's going to go, but I'm sure by the end of the video you'll see. So I'm going to get some things done here and I'll be back uh, shortly with you. Alright guys, here's what we got done so far on the uh, 5 gallon uh, bucket deep water culture system for the out of control cucumbers over there. Alright, what I did is I used a uh, 7 8 inch drill bit, which you could use a hole saw bit, I mean any type of bit, but 7 8 inch works for the... Uh, well, hold on a second, get that off there. 7 8 inch works for the uh, 1 8 inch outside diameter by 5 8 inch inside diameter rubber grommet. You can find these in the uh, specialty hardware in Lowe's. So you drill the hole, clean it up with the razor, put the grommet into the uh, bucket there. What I did is got close to the bottom. It don't have to actually be on the bottom because this isn't going to hold any dead water. It's just uh, for monitoring your water level and um, for emptying it if you want. Then I ran, uh, after I did that and cleaned it up and put the uh, grommet in, I put this uh, half inch insert elbow, which is uh, basically a half by a half. Inserted that into the grommet. It fit nice and snug. Wiggled it in there. Ran it right up just to this edge because once you get beyond these barbs here, into this flat section it's not as tight so I ran it right up to this last barb 
Let's see if we can see that. Not really. But ran it right up to there. And so far, after I cleaned it up nice, I haven't had any leaks. So, I mean, if you have any leaks, you could always inside the bucket put a little silicone, I guess, around the grommet or whatever. So I hooked up the uh, clear hose to it, ran it up, used a wire tie to wrap it just to hold it in place. Uh, drilled through here. Just note, if you're drilling this lip, watch because it'll go quick. Don't drill the inner bucket. Made a couple marks with markers. Put a little uh, scotch tape on there just so it doesn't rub off. These are my waterline marks. This one here is a uh, half inch below the uh, neti pot bucket lid. This one here is a half inch up into the neti pot bucket lid. I like to start my uh, plants when the roots haven't left the, the neti pot yet so the hydrogen is actually down in the, the nutrient solution a little bit. Then once the roots settle down into the bucket, I'll drop it a half inch below the hydrogen. Uh, and this here will allow me, as the water level drops in the bucket, this will also drop in the tube because water finds its own level. So this will show me where my nutrient solution is. And what's nice with this, uh, if you want to drain this bucket, you just pull this out. Just tilt this over and it'll drain the bucket. Bring it back up and just tuck it back up under there. And then you have your little uh, level. So it also works as a drain. Now what I did with the airline is I uh, drilled a, well, let me see here. I think it was 5 16 yes. I used a 5 16 drill bit and I drilled through the edge. Now we're not focusing good at all now. I drilled through the edge and um, I drilled through the bucket. What I did was place the bucket lid on and make sure I was below the bucket lid. I drilled through there. I used the uh, T's, uh, 90 degree T's that I spoke of earlier that uh, to um, make the connections. I used one here, a 90, and one here, a 90. Why this camera is not focusing, I have no idea. I used a 90 here, there we go, and a 90 there, and uh, punched it through that three, uh, 516, uh, what was it again? Let me look, I'm losing my mind. 516, the 516 uh, line uh, drill bit fed the uh, quarter inch irrigation tubing right through. Then I'm using my check valve with the arrow facing in, of course, uh, for my air tubing. And then what I decided, I was going to nest another bucket like this. And of course, I already put my airline through, so the bucket would have hit the airline. And I thought, well, I could always notch this bucket down in here to fit. But uh, what I decided was, instead of nesting it, because once you nest it and use the bucket, uh, the uh, neti pot on top of the bucket, the water level in the original bucket would have to be so high to hit the right placement on the neti pot that it would be almost right to this level. So, because I was trying to figure out what to do with the trellis for the cucumbers. So here's what I came up with. Um, basically, I took my neti pot uh, bucket lid and I drilled some uh, holes in the bucket lid. And uh, what I did was drill some holes in the bucket lid and mount that wire cage right around there. I kind of kept shaping it and forming it. And now that is part of the bucket lid and then the bucket lid snaps right down and then I have that nice trellis there that I can run my cucumber up and climb around. And then if I, when I need to remove this to do my nutrients or whatever, the whole plant including the trellis system can be moved over to another bucket just to hold it until you know I change out the newts and then I bring it back it was important I wanted to keep the trellis with this will the cucumber get bigger than this trellis I'm sure it will but at least for now I can move everything at once and uh, change out my nutrients clean my air stone and things like that so what I'm gonna do next is get it all set up get it up and running get one of the cucumbers moved because of course I gotta make a second one still get one of the cucumbers moved and um, Get it all up and running and uh, show you that uh, next step here into moving them cucumbers out of them peppers. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. All right, got the uh, nutrients in. End up taking uh, four gallons 
to that top line until the roots drop. Then that's about uh, three and a half gallons to the lower line once the roots drop. As you can see, I got it up into the net pot. That's what I want till the roots get going and they uh, drop out of this net pot. What I'm going to do is I got that uh, three inch net either in. I'm just going to put that netty right into hydrotin and let the roots go. So I'm going to take that pot, drop it right in there, fill it up with hydrotin, uh, and then uh, she'll be good to go. I'll probably start her off by tying her over here, you know, getting it climbed up. So once I get it up and established, as you can see, I still got one of my buckets uh, dechlorinating water there. That's where I'm going to do my second uh, cucumber. And then I'm going to have to, you know, get some more buckets for dechlorination. But uh, once I get it set up and uh, the cucumber planted, I'll show you how that looks. Well, there it is. Got the uh, cucumber moved, one of them. I still have a whole nother one to do. But I got the cucumber moved. Just tied it real lightly here. Start training it to go. Uh, I'd Like I said, I just put the other neti pot that it was in right into this one and just filled it up with hydrogen. I have the uh, water level up into the pot a little bit. The root mass on this uh, cucumber was incredible. I should have took a little video of it. Hopefully, I, I can get the roots to move off. I'm sure they will, but uh, there was a ton of roots. And, you know, they're all at the bottom of this new uh, pot now, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully, you know, I should have did this before I went on my trip. I didn't. But as with anything, this is all, you know, a learning experience. So, uh so this is the system. I'm going to do another identical one. I'll do updates as this uh, goes on on how they're progressing. Um, I am going to make some type of sleeve or cover or something to block out the light here. Right now you can see there's no light running, just the fluorescent from up above. That's tomorrow's project. I'm going to get a light. My plan is to basically do a vertical light. So the light would reflect down in this way in some some possibly wrap with some mylar I don't know that's a whole nother video that I'm gonna make so there it is uh, deep water culture five gallon bucket system with uh, sight glass that you can roll over and uh, uh, drain and also this is similar to what my plans are for when I do my garden outside except instead of the sight glass I'm gonna do tees down there and connect bucket to bucket you know and do it like a flood and drain so we'll see how that goes but thanks for watching. Anyone uh, that wants to subscribe, please subscribe. Uh, any comments, questions, or suggestions, please feel free to post them. Uh, thank you very much.